Hi, this is Helen and this short screencast is the first diary entry of the end of my first nine days of playing Ingress, um, a virtual reality um, geocaching app um, as part of my study in INF541. So I'm just going to be really quick just to kind of give you an idea of what my first week has been like. Um, and um, I guess I'll start with explaining a little bit about me and how I like to um, work and um, you know, learn different apps and games and things like that. And that's quite, firstly, I like um, experimenting. So um, I like kind of downloading the app or the game and just having a go at playing it myself um, and just sort of seeing what I can work out through the gameplay um, before I actually um, consult any how-to guides or, you know, watch any videos or etc. So that's kind of what I've done in this instance. So I started off the first few days um, by um, just experimenting within the app and seeing what I could learn that way and then um, towards the end of this nine day period I've um, really become involved in communities um, associated with the app. I've taken part in what's called smurfing lessons on how to actually play particular things and I found having done it, um, having done those lessons and talked to people in the community and things like that, I've learned a lot more and I've become actually better at the gameplay um, and I guess the understanding the objective of the game. So um, the first thing I learned obviously was to capture portals which is one of the purposes of the game so um, and I have to say I haven't interacted with this game as it's been designed to be interacted so being a, a geocaching game augmented reality you're kind of meant to walk around and interact with different sites um, sorry some random ad, different sites etc um, I haven't done that as such I haven't really walked around and interacted at, as such um, when you kind of play through here if you go to ops um, there's missions which I thought was really cool um, Again, I just randomly stumbled across, the, across this. So there's different missions that you can do. So you can decide to um, do, you know, this St. George College mission, this St. George College miss, mission, um, and that involves walking around different locations. So you'd start and then you'd have to walk through this place. And then obviously as you're walking around engaging with this physical site, you're finding these particular portals in there which you're hacking. Um, and then once you've done all of that, then you've completed the mission and then you get an X amount of experience points. So I think that's fantastic. Um, and that's something that I plan on doing in the next um, week or so. It's just thus far with three kids under five, it's actually been hard to engage with the game in that way. My engagement has come from kind of fitting it around my everyday um routines and practices with my family and job and things like that so um, a lot of my gameplay has come from um, you know driving to and from places and just kind of interacting with the portals or with the sites there um, each portal is actually attached to a site in the real world so this particular portal is um, attached to a park um, and that's close to my physical location at the moment so um this, um, yeah, so this site um, or this portal is located to this particular site um, and so you kind of need to be near the proximity of a portal so, so you can see my radius there in order to be able to access it whether it's your portal or an enemy portal when you are close to a portal and you click on the portal it gives you a variety of options so this is a portal that I actually own um, so I can hack the portal Acquire, resonate, XM reserves 100% XMP um, that you, you need in order to play the gameplay. Um, you can deploy a resonator, which means that if it's a portal that you own, like this is one that I own here, you can deploy something to strengthen the portal um, and make it stronger so that it's more defendable. Um, again, um, you can, if you don't own a portal so um portals that you own or that's part of your faction so i'm part of the resistance faction we are blue there's the enlightened faction which is green um and then anything that's not owned by anyone is white so if this was a non-owned portal it would be white in that case i could click and deploy a resonator confirmed resonator deployed xm reserves 
Um, so I'm in my actual physical location now. I'm surrounded by a lot of blue portals. Um, so they're um, from my team. Um, you can see kind of in the very distance, um, there's some green um, and that is enemy territory. So um, there's a lot of enemy portals in that area. Um, so this blue is um, a lot of enemy portals um, in this area uh, so blue is um, friendly portals in this area and like I said white is, belongs to no one um, you can link your portals which is again something that I kind of discovered by accident when I was driving through different locations what happens is when you hack a portal um, that doesn't belong to you you can get what's called a key to that portal um, and then if you own a portal and you own the key to a portal then you're kind of given permission to link those portals together um, and that scores more points for your team. Um, one of the things that I found halfway through the, the gameplay was this com feed which I thought was great so it, the all gives you a summary of um, everything that's kind of happened in your area um, you know what's happening um, for both sides who's done what it gives you a score count so at the moment the resistance is ahead um, faction so that's your particular group or faction and um, I discovered through you know sending a broadcast out on this comms feed to the faction port that that kind of gives me access to a community of other users who are on my team um, playing um, you know the game um, what I did was within the first few days after I kind of played for a couple of days and realized oh I don't really know what I'm doing I sent out a, a transmission on here and I said hey um, you know what do I do any suggestions and um, a lot of people um, would respond with you know you can join a community at sydneyres.org put in a code which is similar to that one there and then you can join our team which is what I did so I've, that's why I'm part of this particular team now um, they also um, talked about um, a Google Plus community which I'm now a member of and I'll quickly show you in a minute um, and also within that Google Plus community there's a number of what's called smurfing lessons on how to use the app so I kind of had a bit of an experimentation myself um, and then went back and um, did some of those smurfing lessons, joined these communities, and I've actually found that my gameplay has, um, my interest in the gameplay has increased because it's kind of a communal collaborative thing now. Um, I kind of know what I'm doing or a little bit more of what I'm doing, so that helps. Um, I'll actually just quickly show you the um, community. So this... should bring me to my ingress community which it hasn't um so i'll just search it ingress there it is so it's quite a strong community um i'm a member so this is a google plus community where you can communicate with other people that are playing the game um it gives you some videos and things like that which i thought was pretty cool um, another um, awesome feature which um, as was part of this community was the smurfing lessons. Um, no, that's not what I need. I'll just type it in here. Ingress smurfing. And I thought that was a really in so Smurf help. Um, so that was really cool because it gave me some idea of what I'm actually doing. Um, you know, different guides, um, community directory. So again, access to the Google Plus community. And I found since interacting with this Smurfing feature and with interacting with people on the Google Plus community and within the um, Trans XM reserves one hundred percent within the transition feature of the transmission feature of the app. I've enjoyed the gameplay more, and I kind of have a little bit more of an idea of what I'm doing. So I guess that's a quick summary for the first nine days. Um, 
it's probably not as interactive as I would have liked it to be, but remember I am in one location recording this summary. So what I plan on doing for my next diary entry is taking it beyond this particular location and moving to another location, perhaps where there's an enemy portal or where there's a number of portals that I can access and show you some of the features that I've learned. Um, and hopefully by that point, I'll have some more features up my sleeve. Um, I'm a level two at the moment, so I'm still really beginning. Um, I'm on 18,624 AP points, so I need 20,000 to move on to level three. Um, and this kind of gives you the stats of how I've played thus far. I'm also hoping that I can do a mission um, at some point in the next few weeks. Um, and then I can maybe include that as one of my diary entries. Um, there are different um, training things within the app which I've kind of done a few but I haven't done all of so um, hopefully we can I can do it that way I can recruit other agents to join so that's some of my friends um, I can um, there's an ingress YouTube channel which I thought was really cool etc so that's the end of my screencast slash first diary entry um, thank you for watching and I'll be in touch soon